Alrighty, we're here with some Hazard Night Boat 2 Victorious Road. I haven't played this game for a little while. Um, not because I just started hating the game or anything like that. I just you know, didn't want to touch it for a while after doing 
What I felt like was pretty much everything that I could do in the game, um, as far as goals that I set for myself, you know, becoming a five weight world champion, uh, making heavyweight champion as quick as I could, as many times as possible. Um, but one thing I really hadn't focused that hard on was making like a dedicated, like, and my hunter type character, you know, where like I hunt down every single uh, character in the anime um, that's present in the game in the career mode. Let me turn the sound on a bit. There we go. Weird. So I've already had a test run where I did that. Oh, you know what? I just plugged in my controller, so I need to go ahead and refresh my devices here so it detects that. Alright. <clears throat> so I've already had a test run, um, getting to a world title with a featherweight champion and uh, pretty much just decking out a bunch of different anime characters, uh, whether or not they're can fodder or like actually involved in the plot. <clears throat> Let's see here. Uh, Yeah, this is the day Epo comes. Let's see here. Going to start. Let's start right at the end of eighty seven. <coughs> Now, I do want to be able to fight both Sendo and Ippo, so I'm going to have to give up the benefits that you get from either one of these gyms. You get the Leaf Catch, Exercise right off the bat with the Kamogawa Gym, which you can get later on regardless with training. Um, and you can get the Rocky nickname from the Naniwa Kentokai Gym, but I'm unsure if you can get that regardless by beating Sendo, but whatever. We're going to start at the Morai Gym because... Uh, I just want to be able to fight both those guys here on the stream. Uh, let's see here. We'll just, we'll just put in, we'll self insert here. I don't feel like making up a name for this guy right now. Alrighty. Now we're gonna make him a little bit shorter, just because I want to be able to fill him up a, a, a little bit with uh, with muscle. Gosh, I wish I didn't pause right at that moment. Um, <laughs> we'll go ahead and start him off the lowest way possible. Uh, I think 172 should be appropriate. Of course, we'll make him a switch hitter. God, they always look so freaky when they spawn in, they're all fucking sucked in and all dry. Alright, let's just quick so I can get some food in this boy. Oh, I forget how these menus control, they're a little weird. This guy evil and get red eyes. <laughs> nah, we won't. We won't make him that evil. That's a little bit too much. Try 
should give him a mustache. I think we should give him a mustache. What the hell is it on? Alright, I think I'll be good. Oh, clothing. Go ahead, get him some short shorts. Mm-hmm. Really? 
Was good, Axis Ninja. Hey, thanks for the follow. I used to play Destiny, not a whole bunch, just sometimes on console when there was like nothing else, but then I moved on to Warframe when I got a laptop. Switching up the HUD eventually, but I just kind of like this one so. Uh, 
I need to look through what they have on stream elements again. Hey, share the stream with your friends, bro. Everyone to watch this shit. I'm gonna try and find another game I can play real quick. Oh wait, shit. I'm still controlling this shit. I'm out of focus. That's not good. Here, let me let me change that real quick. That shit right into existence. You see that? Uh, let's see here. Nope. We're gonna play some Ninja Guy then. Motherfucker. Let's go. Oh, let's start. to play the show a whole bunch for sure yeah you should probably grab something to eat I should probably grab something to eat here in a little bit Have my had <laughs> have my ninja gaiden like right underneath my chat overlay and I, I neglected to notice how like it was about to like go over my game and I couldn't see shit. Motherfucker could throw knives, so I've never seen him do that before.
Because the whole thing is with the iron bar dash pass is that it builds up your legs really well, but it kind of kills off um, your arm muscle, I feel like. <laughs> And if you're not doing a lot for the arm and back muscles right now, then it's something I won't worry about. Oh shit, this, I gotta pause that. <laughs> There's a timer on that. Getting way, way quicker now. I just want to see how the arm stats are moving comparatively to his legs. I wait till this guy gets up to 125, and then even after it a little bit, like I kind of want to try and max out his muscle stats a little bit more. We'll see how he turns out in a couple minutes, though. That jump so much, it's so deceiving. Oh, now it starts auto moving my selection over to yes, those bastards. Oh, you bastard!
Oh my god, okay. You know, maybe Ninja Gaiden today is not my it's not my game today. Fucking okay, day. <sighs> I just can't focus on it right now. Alright. <laughs> right now I'm kinda stacking on training. It's a little bit risky dude, but I mean like <sighs> When you have this much time to work off and anything bad, like, it's, it's, it's okay as long as you catch it early, you know, if you notice something bad's happening, then like, you gotta catch it early, that's really all it is, otherwise you're gonna spend a lot of time fixing it, a lot more time fixing it than you would, just trying to go up, then go down. Damn. Alright. Didn't realize I died in Ninja Gaiden. Oh well, I'll just do that. Do something else with that. What was I doing? I don't even fucking remember. <laughs> Guy. We've officially gotten to the point where like I want to like build out as much as I can with this guy that I'm just going to uh, give him two rest days and I'm going to give him a full hard schedule. Oh, there's that bad health is going up quite quickly so let me see here. Are we just loading up too much of the amino acids? Possibly quite. 
doesn't need that much good because it seems. bouncing out. Okay, I think I can leave this one kind of for a little bit. Yeah, this music is very unique. It's it's I don't know dude, sometimes I just go on SoundCloud, I, I listen to some crazy Wow, this dude is overweight, damn Yeah, I uh, <laughs> god damn, that motherfucker was big Yeah, I just like going on SoundCloud and picking really weird shit to listen to I don't think out here this is Spongebob, I think I hear this more like Oast or something Or like some weird rhythm game I don't like the way that bad health is still going up. Why is it still going up though? Let's see here. Probably just because of fatigue at this point. So that's the case. I can cut out the non-essentials here at this point. Yeah, I like some rap and stuff, not a lot of newer stuff though. I'd say I'm really more of like a boom bap type of dude. You know, I like me some of my old school East Coast type shit. You know, like Big L, Big Pun. Uh, that old Tupac shit. I might chart. I might check him out. I, I just don't know how I feel about rappers named after Italian fashion luxury brands, but you know, whatever. I ain't hating. Maybe I am hating a little bit. What the fuck? I don't like Suicide Boys. Uh, I don't like trap. I don't like trap at all. I think the production is lazy. Um, no, actually, you know, I'll, I'll take that back. I think the production is slick. I just think that the rapping is lazy, usually in trap. Yeah, no cap. No cap. I don't like trap, man. Dude, I did not know there was like a Pokemon Stadium, like, pirated version on fucking Super Nintendo. What the fuck does this even look like? Does this even load? Oh well, this guy's starting to get buff. Let's see where we're at here. Uh, looks like he just needs to work on his biceps, triceps a bit. The chest is good, back is good, legs are good. Even less polygons than already misses prob. What? What does that even mean?
streaming. Well, yeah, <laughs> there's no poly. There will be no polygons on Super Nintendo. I I don't even think this shit works, bro. It's not even loading. Uh. All right. Well, there's another one on here. I think I see. I saw. Pokemon Gold and Silver, Pirate. What? What the fuck? Is this shit even gonna work? Hey, it's not in loading. Oh, this dude is getting buff in the abs. It's middle abs. If it's mostly his obliques, it's probably his obliques growing the most from like all the um, all the leg exercise and stuff since I got him doing the iron bar dash pass and the tennis ball catch. Um, at that point, I'm gonna have to have this dude focus entirely on the upper body though. But I'm not sure if I'm gonna have enough space to do it. On the way to 125, we'll see what happens. Yeah, you know what? Because I don't think I want to max out his legs right now. No, but let's, let's, I didn't even look at his sway speed. Let's look at his sway speed real quick. We're looking alright with this stuff, footwork. Speed's looking a little slack right now. Yeah, don't forget guys, download Raid Shadow Legends using my link, uh, my link being posted in the Twitch chat or it should be underneath in the video description if you're watching this on YouTube right now. And don't forget to use my promo code SEFEB22 to get more perks when you reach level 15 on Raid Shadow Legends. Shinji, my son. Cat's being just a dingleberry right now. Gonna give him the usual setup, a little smash and a jolt counter. One second. Alright, just gotta love the animal's lack of object permanence.
There we go, gotta give him the sunglasses. We got anything? Nope. Not yet. Oh, I already have the Rocky. I guess you keep the nickname, that's cool, I didn't know that. Uh, we are reaching the 125 limit, and we're getting up there. Hey Ragnar, don't do that please. Yeah, it's probably about time to stop building muscle. Now it's just time to build stats. Bop, bop, bop. Do I need to watch this? I think I might still gain some chest muscles here, but I can't imagine that will go that much above over 125. I might need to cut out some extra exercises here though, because I do still build muscle just a little bit. I just really need the sway speed to keep up building, but I also need that footwork speed to get up there a little bit more. So hopefully, once we lose some more weight, we can go ahead and put more training down on footwork. For sure, bro, you have fun playing Saturday. Man, you gotta go play right before I go fight, though. I mean, you should just learn. My whole thing is, it's like, if you don't know how to get into a good stance, you probably don't know how to play that game. Um, 
that good yet so like I just focus on getting good everywhere don't really focus on getting a good stance because if you don't know what to do with that stance you're just gonna make yourself stuck rather than like learn how to move around and whatnot so like that that opener I have I mean like it's good but like it's it's also one of those openers where if, like if you don't know what you're doing like you're gonna you're just gonna get stuck. Oh shit, is it bugging that? Let me look at it. Is it bugging that? Looks like it's fine to me. Uh, you know, everyone has their own way of doing a back step. Just, uh, just play around with it. I want you to figure it out. Figure out how to back step into a stance. Damn it, how am I still gaining muscle? Or is it because I'm still eating? What, what is it? Here, let's see. I might need to take this out for a bit too. What? Oh my god, why the fuck you gotta ask everyone? <laughs> I think it's kind of cringe, honestly, the boondocks and the Naruto together. But hey, whatever, yeah, do what you do. It's, whatever's cool. I ain't gonna lie to you, kid. I ain't gonna lie to you. <laughs> For, for those of you that don't know, this, this kid's profile picture on Discord is just, uh... It's, uh... What, what should I call it? It's just, it's just a picture of Riley from the Boondocks, but with, like, a Naruto headband on... Oh, here, let me, like, fix, like... Shit. Oh, here. Alright. I guess I should give it a little bit of a black border so it doesn't get the story. Oh no, I don't know what to do with this game's resolution. Oh, I was first going to wait till uh, this character was like 21 to start fighting, but then. I don't know, I saw him hit the weight class and just wanted to start going. Oh well. I probably need to take some time in between fights to build the stats a little bit, how slow I'm gonna have to go now, but I don't know. I have confidence I can beat anyone in regardless. <laughs> That's what they usually do, bro. Let's see, I gotta fix like this shadow glitch going on here. I think it's just because I'm upscaling the graphics on this game, so man. Yeah. 
see if that works. Ah, it does a little bit. Yeah, maybe you should manage that a little bit. I need to like remove some extensions from my opera. I think that's just like causing it to like fuck it up. It's causing it to just take up way more RAM than it should be. Am I getting fat? Is that it? Oh yeah, I think that might be it. I think I might be eating too much glucose. Yeah, I need to take out some shit. In there. much a day anywhere he's already up there yeah so he's, he's probably should be getting the bare minimum amount to like continue working out now so it should be on the downturn with his fat yeah there we go that's being wiped out a little better this is not appropriate music to knock someone out too. Alright, let's hope. 
hope the RNG gods help me with that random wake burst or drop. This dude looks so drained. Yeah, I was right, his obliques grew more than the front amps, so he looks a little weird. Traps are a little bit bigger than the rear delts. Not even that though, I think he's looking pretty alright. Can you jump up in the air and curb stomp someone out of MMA? Yeah! Yeah, you can. Some rule sets. That's legal. It depends on how you do it in Tory Bash, though. If you do it like a cheesy little bastard, then, like, don't do it. <laughs> um, I think it's just stupid sometimes, honestly. Um, I think. I think when you're starting out. Um, to depend on moves like that, where you're just like flying into someone's guard, trying to elbow them, or trying to fly at them with punches, or trying to stomp at them. It just teaches you how to play the wrong way, I feel like. It doesn't teach you to depend on your grappling, to, to always engage like in the, in the chess game, so to speak, right? Like, if we're fighting out in Tori Bash, we could be jabbing and out, throwing crosses, throwing hooks, and boxing it up, or you could just try to make the fastest, hardest, stiff arm overhand as possible, and if it doesn't phase through my guard or phase through my body, then you could just use that to just win the first exchange, push him back, and then start doing whatever you want. But in my opinion, to play like that is to play like a bitch, because you're afraid, you're afraid of getting caught in a, a, a tactical exchange, you know, 
So my thing is I'm always about being tactical. I don't want a quick win. I don't want a fucking one hard blow to the side of the match for me. I want a sustained punishment of my opponent. Like I want them to understand like this is not a fluke in any way. I am better than you in every single, you know, in every single place this fight can go, I am more technical and I am more knowledgeable than you. And that's what I want to convey when I fight. So, I mean, yeah, sure, go stomp him, but like, I'd rather you pass this guard and pin him. Man, when am I gonna find a guy? <laughs> Here's the thing about doing a strategy like this is that you don't really find a good match until you get into like the top 10 of the national rankings and even then they're all kind of easy sauce. Uh, and it's not until you get to world rankings and then you get the, the really hard guys, but I mean, the, the tastiest matchup I want as of right now is to fight Ricardo uh, Martinez. That dude is really hard. I've beat him a couple of times, but it's it's absurdly like difficult to try and knock him out. I think I did it though with my last character that I was doing my featherweight run with. I'm getting a little impatient. I just want I just want to fight. Oh, you know what? Here, I want to join this voice chat with a bunch of these Australians out there. Now, actually, they're, they're all on something else. I won't bother in my stream right now. Yeah, I'll talk to them a bit but after this. I do need to shut this music down. You know that? I like this shit. I need something that's, that'll like, get me going right now. <laughs> I've never seen anyone get knocked down like that. Holy shit, I hit him hard, huh? Now, that's the thing when you develop that much power with a character this early in career mode. Like, you hit people fucking, like, absurdly hard. You see some really weird KO animations come out, motherfuckers. Like, wow! Like, you really just shook the soul out of someone with some of these punches.
Let's check out what was this nearly uploaded. Probably like the guitar on this already.
hier. Man, this dude still has some lost AOA. Anyway, you can do it, bro, I believe. Here, you know what? I'm gonna schedule some sparring and see, see if I can't box that guy. Try to give him some encouragement. That's all we have. Jin Kusanagi. Uh, we'll have him wear 16 just because he's heavier. I hear that experience actually helps you a bit um, doing the boxing and shit like this. Uh, sparring, but I mean, I don't know. I I don't think there's any. Nobody's really recorded the result of this, or at least in like modern guides I read. It's like suggested on like some Japanese builds and boards apparently, but I haven't seen it. Bang, bro. Me bang, bro. Me bang, bro. Yeah, this guy can take a fucking shot. Let's go, 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 let's go. Yeah, you can take it. Well, we do have headgear and heavy gloves on, but still, we can knock something down by that point. There we go. I love how this isn't how this works in real life at all though. The headgear makes it easier for you to get knocked out and the heavier gloves just means that there's more weight in your fist when you're swinging at people. So everything combined actually means that you have more momentum in your punches and when you actually do connect the leverage point that you need to cause the optimal amount of twist within the cervical vertebrae to cause the brain to shake around violently inside the head to cause concussion is, is extended, right? Because think about some headgears, right? All right, it, it, it adds on up like at least an inch or two of, of, of contact area from, that protrudes from your head in different areas, in your forehead, in your ears, near your temples and with some heck you're near your chin you know what I mean so you get hit in any of those spots you know normally uh you know without heck it's 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 an inch or two is different but it's it's a game of inches you know what I mean you, you can't argue to me and, and say that heck you don't doesn't make it easier for you to, to get knocked out like yeah sure it can protect you from bruising but like what are you more afraid of are you afraid of a black eye or are you afraid of fucking getting brain damage? I'm afraid of getting brain damage, bro. So I'll take the headgear off and I'll train with smaller gloves if I need to. Or if I can. But usually people like to train with 14 ounces, 16 ounces. <clears throat> and that that's like appropriate to me. I, I, I feel like at that point, then like, yeah, it's a little bit harder to lift. Um, but like 18 ounces, 20 ounces, like, whoa. 
I don't know. I, I think I think I just spar with 14 ounces nowadays. I just pull back on my shots. It's really my kicks I usually like nail people with more with, with damage. I don't even mean to. It's just you know I I don't expect them to land <laughs> sometimes on some people, and then they do land regardless. I'm like, well, I gotta remember to pull back my power still even at the end there. Oh man, what can fodder am I fighting now? Come here, oh, this cat. Oh, Pikachu style is on. Oh, I got back that one. Oh, this cat sounds nice. Oh, Shinji, he's my new little boy. That's right.
easy, man. Oh my god, you get to a fucking title shot already, god damn it. <sighs> how, many more, how many more of these guys do I gotta knock out in the first round to get to the title shot already? Like, come on, Japan. Golly. Letting me kill the fucking postal fucking delivery man, right? These guys are just hobbyists now. Come on. Shinji, god damn it. Shinji. You want you wanna say something for all the people watching this video slash stream since you wanna come up here and get ready for my next my next show. Shinji. So you don't have something to say? Shinji. 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 Golly. My son. One of these days I'm gonna get webcam and all you guys are gonna see like how much my cats harass me when I try to stream. my weekly Itchy, scratchy. I never watched The Simpsons. That was bad. I kind of like The Simpsons comic books that they had and shit. Some of them were recapping episodes, but some of them were original. I really didn't like understand the cartoon show comic books that literally just recapped the show. Like, why wouldn't I just watch the show that because sometimes it literally just be like screenshots of the show like what the fuck
Man, these motherfuckers do not take me seriously. I, how many motherfuckers have I knocked out? This is the first round. I, I really hate the grind it takes sometimes to get up to a tile shop in this game. Honestly, I don't know. I was going to cut the stream out in like an hour 30, but I might just need to take up like these next 10 minutes to get to the tile shop. Because I just want to get this shit over with before I stream next time. The next time it would be really about hunting all the anime characters down. Already? Yeah, alright, huh? Okay. He's <laughs> got kind of a glass draw. Alright, I got you. Don't worry, homie. I'll put you out of your mercy. That one, huh? Don't take that one. people do I gotta fight through to get to a fucking number one spot.
Oh, uh, what's up, Mata Rika? My boy Mata in the chat. What's good, man? How's the game going? It's like a couple miles out from my location, but it's like, it's like 20 an hour, so it's be worth it and I make time and a half on the overtime, so I do 412, so I'll make $30 an hour for those last 8 hours. It's just gonna be real fucking tough, I'm not ready for it. <laughs> but this contract should only last for, I don't know, a couple weeks or so, so hopefully I get through with that and get to something else easy. But I'm gonna still try and stream at least every day this week. Uh, I was meant to eat last yesterday, last night, but like I just did not have the energy to after a whole bunch of shit. Uh, I mean, like I'd say two is like that's, that's appropriate. I mean, like in UFC, it's usually only like a double jab you can get away with. Anything more than that, and I think I don't know, it kind of promotes like degenerative behavior. Like, cause if all you have is the double jab, then like you have to get a time that in, and time it out. You can't just spam it all the time. Oh. So uh, what, what I was saying is uh, maybe with the maybe just a double jab. That, that's appropriate. Double jab is appropriate. I think uh, anything more than that becomes a little degenerative. I guess so. Take a shot.
never seen anyone get knocked out like that in this fucking game, bro. People complain to me that they see the same animations over and over. You're like, yeah, fucking right, dude. Like, the KO fucking physics engine in this game is absurd. I have no idea how the fuck they program it, but I've seen so many different unique ways these motherfuckers get knocked out. Oh, still so far away. And that KO is kind of funky. But not as funky as the diverse selection of champions you have in Raid Shadow Legends. No, I'm just playing. <laughs> Thank you for following Madarika Smiley. Hey, these fucking cats. God. Yeah, I know, right? I fucking miss streaming all the time. Uh, uh, recently I just haven't had the energy to fucking try and look for a new job and shit, but now that I do have a new job, now I want to stream every day again, but now it's just going to be consumed by work, so I don't know, I don't know what my schedule's going to be like once I start getting into the flow of everything, but hopefully after next month, like I should be able to, like in the month of April, I should be able to have like more of a regular streaming schedule. I just don't know what I'm going to be doing for this next month in terms of even just having time for myself, but no, we'll see what happens. Oh, this motherfucker's tall. Oh yeah, dude, I have like 0% body fat on this character, so you could make the featherweight limit. While having like as much muscle as possible.
<laughs> Easy money. You know what? I think I am done streaming Hats from the Evil for today. But before I go, let me go ahead and show you guys a little advertisement from the sponsorship I'm doing with Raid Shadow Legends. Thank you for saying through that, guys. I know it was terrible, but <laughs> no, I'm just fine. <laughs> uh, seriously, thank you guys for watching. And yeah, if you want to help me out with, you know, possibly making some monetization off these videos and whatnot, then if you could go ahead, go in the description, click on the link, and sign up for Raid Shadow Legends, you know, just get the level 15 and enter in my promo code, you'll even get, like, a bunch of extra shit, like, a hundred, uh, what was a hundred thousand silver, and an epic champion, uh, immediately upon registering, and it helps me make some bucks in the meanwhile, so, I appreciate you when I did that. Uh... Sorry guys, if you've been chatting in the YouTube chat, usually I don't really look at that one because there's more spammers in there and whatnot. Uh, if you want to get more engagement out of me, usually you can try to reach me more on my Twitch at twitch.tv slash vix, that's V-I-X, tricks, T-R-I-X, the number six. Alright, yeah, sorry about the audio management earlier guys, I just wanted the music to be actually hearable this time but I guess at the cost of me being able to be heard at some point so sorry about that guys but oh well y'all have a good one